Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. Today, two parts of the video. First part, I will do a little bit TA to show you what I think is happening to the Bitcoin price exactly and what the Bam Bam indicator is telling us. And the second part is the most important part where I'll tell you something that you really need to understand because that will maybe open your mind to why you should be buying Bitcoins right now. Now, let's jump into the first part of the charts, guys. Bam, here. This is the first chart. The chart is the uh, four hour chart. As you know, on the four hour chart last week, I think three days ago, I made a video and I told you guys, be aware there is a long flag. Be aware, I drew that circle over there. I told you guys, there's a long flag there. We are switching from um, yellow, blue to greenish over there with the green dot and the line was above it. That is the moment three days ago that you could have taken that long flag uh, on the four hour because of the bam bam indicator that that long flag would have brought you a profit let's say we take it late over there all the way up to there of four percent without leverage with a leverage of 10 that's a 40 percent trade and yes you would have exited the trade maybe a little bit later here when the candle started to close down below the yellow stepping line but that is what the bam bam indicator does I uh, told it you guys in this video, shocking, that was the name. Also guys, be aware, this video, trade safe over there, that video is being watched more and more times, it's already 4K views in one day, because there is a very clear message in it and explaining to you why Apex is the exchange I would now move some funds to, okay? Now, um, if you want to have access to the indicators, go to the bitcoinfamily.com products, GTGAR is a free indicator, and then we have the indicator packages here where you get full access to the Bam Bam indicator. Zooming out. If we zoom out to the day channel, guys, we can see this beautiful chart over here. Um, I've been talking about the charts for longer now, and I've, tell, I've been telling you <clears throat> that dotted white line that is coming down from the bull run top over there, that is a line that is very important because we've been touching that line multiple times. And um, here we tried to break it over there. I'm going to circle it. We didn't. Here we broke it. Then we found support. Then we broke it again and it became resistance. 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 Here we broke it and then we couldn't find support. <clears throat> now, if you're zooming in to today, we can see that we broke that line to the upside. There's a day chart, every candle is a day. So we are breaking that line. We can see a little bit um, uh, the MACD diminishing again from dark green to line green. So what could happen is what always happens when we break certain levels of resistance, we break them, we come down, we retest them before we take off to the next level of resistance. So that could mean that Bitcoin would drop to 16K again and then pump up to 70K but we can also uh, pump to 70k here and then come down a little bit. All these uh, possibilities in Bitcoin. <clears throat> yes, we can uh, analyze charts, we can do all that stuff, but I um, always go to the Bam Bam indicator. So for me, when this green area will start to turn red again, that's the moment I will um, exit this trade and I will know for sure that we are going to downwards to uh, retest that level. Now, let's zoom out a little bit more. This is a very important chart. This is the monthly chart. I think it's a very important chart that people should really understand. So let's talk a little bit about this monthly chart. On the monthly chart, guys, we can see that um, every time, if we look to the bottom of the chart over here, um, it takes a certain amount of bars from the bottom to the next top. It was 35 bars in this first uh, epoch, 34 bars here in the second one, and if it will be 34 in the ne next one again, um, the bull run top will be around September 2025. If we look um, to the bottom to the halving, um, then it will it took like 18 bars from the bottom to the halving here. It took 17 bars from the bottom to the halving there. And now, if we can consider this as the bottom, it will take another 16 bars for uh, the halving to occur again. If we look to the bottom lines, the bottom arrows, that is the most important one now you will need to focus on. From the bottom to the next all-time high. Because people are thinking now, ah, Bitcoin is at a bear market bottom, it will go to 10k, it will crash to zero, it will never be an all-time high. If we look back in, in the history, we always create new all-time highs. So um, from the first bottom over here to the new all-time high, it took 27 bars. And then the second bottom um, to the new all-time high took 24 bars, you know, that the 3k to the 70k. So if we could consider this as the bottom this month, be aware, it's a monthly uh, candle, 
uh, and it will take 21 bars, like 27, 24, 21, then uh, a new autumn high could be there in August. Will it take 24 bars? Then the new autumn high will be there in December 2024. That is how the cycles work. So for me, here on the top in the chart, you can see, again, if this is the bottom, we could uh, have a new autumn high somewhere in the midst uh, of 2024. That is how you zoom out in, uh, in Bitcoin charts, guys. Now, um, let's quickly jump into some more interesting charts before I come to the most important part of the video, guys. And it's really important, so keep hanging in there, keep watching the video, as you really need to understand this. Okay, now let's jump into, bam, over here. This is a very important chart, guys. Why is this a very important chart? Because on this chart, you can see that um, on the left side, you can read it over there, the value of BTC transacted on-chain per month we are still having one trillion dollar transacted in Bitcoin on chain. Yes, we were at 10 trillion, and you can see that we were here at the peak as one of one trillion. We are back at that one trillion. This one trillion was the 2017 top. We are back at that level again. There will be created higher levels. But the beautiful message is that we can see the more blocks we come in Bitcoin are being created, the more transactions are being done. And this is an increasing average and that will continue in my opinion like that and that's not the only bullish sign at the moment there's another bullish chart over here this is very bullish news this chart is showing us that at the moment we have 1 million bitcoin addresses holding more than one bitcoin that's 1 million addresses holding one more than one bitcoin and we don't think that that is impressive then take a look at this chart over here guys also very cool here because they are talking so much time, so many times about Bitcoin being used by criminal activity and all that stuff. The percentage of illicit activity at the moment for using Bitcoin is more, less than 1%. Yes, we had a small hiccup over here because that was the plus token Ponzi scheme and you know, they led to a small uptick in illicit activity. But in average, less than 1% of Bitcoins is used in illicit activity. Compare that to fiat. And then you understand that Bitcoin is king above any fiat out there. And that leads me to the next image. And that image is this one. This is what I don't get. Why do people still get in line for debt and slavery? Why is that line so big? Why don't people understand that Bitcoin is changing the monetary system forever? And why don't they line up here at the Bitcoin line? There should be people, not here. This is debt and slavery. We need Bitcoin and freedom. That line needs to become bigger. And maybe the next thing that I'm gonna to explain to you will make that line a little bit bigger. So let's jump back into my bam, beautiful big screen over here. Now, the thing that I want to talk to you guys about is this. We all know there's only 21 million Bitcoins. And we all know that the last Bitcoin will be mined in the year 2140. That it will take another 120 years before the last Bitcoin will be mined. The thing that I think that you all misunderstand is that when you calculate those 21 million Bitcoins and the demand that will be growing among the 8 billion people, then in the end, we only have 21 million Bitcoins. Maybe we have like nine or 10 billion people. That is how people are now calculating why Bitcoin would increase in value because it needs to be divided. All the money that, that 8 to 10 billion people have over here needs to be uh, put in that 21 million Bitcoin. That is how people think. Now, let me wake you up a little bit more. The tools, Bitcoin and blockchain, make it possible for the first time in human history that not only human beings, the 8 or 10 billion in the future, can own a Bitcoin wallet, everything that is around in our atmosphere can own a bitcoin wallet it can be a fridge it can be any kinds of artificial intelligence it can be a house it can be a car it can maybe even be your dog if you assign a bitcoin wallet to your dog and that means that those 21 million bitcoins will not only be divided by 8 billion human beings <laughs> it will be divided by the human beings it will be divided by companies it will be divided by artificial intelligence entities it can be self-driven cars it can be uh, self-ordering fridges it can be self-cleaning houses any entity in the whole universe can be the owner of a bitcoin wallet and thus own bitcoin 
we must stop calculating by bitcoins, by 21 million, 8 billion people. Fuck that. My laptop, with, which could be artificial intelligent robot in the future, can own a bitcoin. Everything you know can be the owner of a bitcoin. So it's not 8 billion. It could be 100 billion entities that can own Bitcoin. And then you should divide 21 million Bitcoins by 100 billion entities. That is how big Bitcoin can be. It is not just about human beings. It's about every entity in this world, which could be a robot, which could be a car, which could be a house, which could be an animal, which could be anything that you can think of now, can own Bitcoin because there is no KYC there is no regulations there is no proof of address that they need to show to open a bank account it's just assigning a Bitcoin wallet to that thing that makes it possible for that thing to own and transact Bitcoin and what that thing can be we can't even comprehend what will be built in the future just check the chatbot and all that stuff how that is evolving at the moment that chatbot can be owning Bitcoin. That chatbot can be a Bitcoin wallet, owning Bitcoin, transacting Bitcoin for good chats, whatever. We need to think bigger than just 8 billion people and 21 million Bitcoin. Bitcoin is king, Bitcoin is huge, Bitcoin is changing the complete monetary system. And in my opinion, if we start to line up in the correct line, Bitcoin and freedom, not slavery, then we will create a new monetary system by the people that we can use, that everyone and everything can use in this beautiful future for you and my children. Now, that was the most important thing I could tell you on Sunday. Just do your calculations and think about it while you smoke your joint or whatever else you are smoking. It's illegal in Thailand nowadays. That's really cool. Um, but if you liked this information and the charts, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the price? But also, way more important, what do you think about so many entities being possible to own Bitcoin? What do you think what that will do to the price? Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow again. 